Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mara. <laughs> it's been so long since I have spoken to camera, to you guys, to YouTube. I hope you guys are doing well. It's been a very, very long time. I just want to restart my YouTube and kind of get in touch with you guys again and see how you guys are doing and share my life with you because my life has completely changed 180 degrees with the military. I joined the Air Force at the age of 25 and I'm going to talk to you guys about that today. Pretty much I'm going to talk to you guys about what um, happened, how I joined, and my tips on what you guys should do as well. So I have a little bit of some talking points so if I am looking down that's why I'm reading my little outline. So I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. It's been so long since I've talked to camera. <laughs> I got into nursing school around, is it 2015, 2016-ish? My whole life, I thought I was going to be doing um, nursing, taking care of patients because pretty much my, my dad's side of the family and also my mom's side, a lot of them are nurses, a lot of them are in the medical field. So I was like, hey, and of course I'm Filipino, so I gotta be a nurse, right? <laughs> Man, it was so tough for me. Like, I just couldn't get myself into being a nurse and... So I dropped out of nursing school. It was so devastating. Like you guys, I I cried. I was crying to my parents. I was like, what did I do wrong? I was trying to do everything. I just couldn't do it. So I had to take a mini break. And I did full-time nail technician. I was in the nail industry for about seven years because I was also doing nails while I was in school. So I just wanted to get out of the nail industry because I just wanted something different. Like I wanted to start fresh. I still had bills to pay and I had to go to school. So I felt like the only way to really go to school, not be in debt, is to join the military. <laughs> so that is one of my main reasons why I joined is to get school. To get schooling paid for because guys... I am so scared of debt. Um, I still, I'm still paying for debt right now, and but thank God, my credit score is actually going up. Um, I can actually make another video about that. But anyway, so yeah, I wanted to go to school for free. You know, I don't want no debt, um, no student loans. What else? Um, and get free healthcare. Oh yeah, because I was like, man. So by the time I'm 26, I'm gonna get out of my 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 parents healthcare insurance so i either have to get married or i need to join the military or something or get a better job so i met so many people in the in in my in the nail salon that i worked at and a lot of them are in the military so i asked them hey how, how's the military how'd you get in there so i literally just asked a bunch of questions and i was like you know what let me see let me do my own research and i'll get back so one thing is definitely know your branch because if you don't know what branch you're going to join then it's going to be very very different like different branches do it different ways so i joined the air force because literally everybody that i talked to said join the air force so i was like let me see why <laughs> so i researched and the air force was very much aligned with my lifestyle even their PT test was very aligned with my lifestyle. <laughs> like, I don't know how to do pull-ups, so an Air Force doesn't require pull-ups. So I'm not gonna go to a branch where it requires pull-ups. Unless I'm really, like, athletic, which I'm not. And that's the thing, I'm not even athletic. I don't run fast. I'm not super strong. But guess what? I passed my PT test. So yeah, definitely know your branch. But highly, highly, highly recommend the Air Force, okay? <laughs> Benefits. Okay, so in the military... You get healthcare paid for, you get your school paid for, you get housing allowance, you also get your food allowance, you also get a living space. When you're in boot camp, you get paid. Because once you sign that contract, you will be you will get paid every first and the fifteenth of the month. There's even like benefits for credit cards, like let's say you have a loan and you can get your loan down to like 6% interest rate, bam. Oh, and traveling, you get to see the world, the VA loan. So right now we're actually building a home and we didn't have to put any money down. And I'm very, very happy and blessed and grateful to have those benefits. So the next is um, you want to research the qualifications. So the Air Force, if you want to join the Air Force, you, I feel like they have like stricter standards when it comes to joining, like 
Um, you have to have a certain credit score. You have to have no speeding tickets or like some sort of like traffic violation. Like you can't be like a criminal, obviously. Um, but yeah, they're going to do a background check on you. Um, oh, and you have to pass the ASVAB. It's a test. The ASVAB is a test where you have to score a certain number to get into the Air Force but it's not just that whatever score you get gives you the type of jobs you can have so let's say you want a medical job which I have so you have to score like a 50 or something um, to get into medical jobs but if you want to do let's say um, a computer computer job then I think you have to score a 70 or 60 or something like that so you can also research that okay um, I got my ASVAB score was an 80 or 79 or 80 something like that and I just used the um, The ASVAB book by Kaplan that I got from Amazon to study so I'm gonna research what job you want so you can't just go in there and say oh I'm gonna go and join and just give me whatever job no you guys you're already pretty much giving away your rights because you're literally like if, if there's a war that's gonna broke out you're gonna have to sacrifice your life you're gonna go away from home you're gonna go away from family and you at least want to have a job that you really really want granted all jobs are difficult all jobs have its own have its own pros and cons but make sure whatever job you get is something that you will at least enjoy let me just say you got a job and you signed a four-year contract, a six-year contract. You're going to be stuck there for six years. You're going to be stuck there for four years. For your advantage, get the job that you want. You can get jobs in the medical field. You can get jobs in the admin field, mechanical, and electrical. So for me, I wanted um, either computers or medical. So I made sure that I know what score I need to get for medical and computers. And that's why I shoot it for a really high score. Um, and that's why I studied my butt off for the ASVAB. Um, but it's really not that hard. The ASVAB is pretty much kind of like just your regular high school uh, tests that you have to pass at the end of the year. And the, the book that I used from the Kaplan, I'm going to link it down below. Um, it's very helpful. So I only studied for about two months um, because I still worked. So I would, I would study like after work and just read about an hour and practice my math <laughs> and English as well. Oh yeah, just make sure you're not getting into trouble. Um, don't get any speeding tickets. Don't go crazy with loans. Like don't have like, what's that called? The collections, don't have anything in the collections. Make sure you're paying your, your credit card on time, your bills on time. Um, Health-wise, make sure you're healthy. You're not like getting into accidents and stuff. Um, and you have to also, ha, well, how could I forget? Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. Your PT. So, for the Air Force, we have to do a mile and a half run, and you have to do a minute of push-ups and sit-ups. But they changed the regulations now, like, they added, like, a plank instead of sit-ups. They added hand-release push-ups instead of sit-ups, uh, instead of push-ups, so... You can do different things, but I'm trying I'm I'm trying to opt for the plank instead of the sit-ups because I really don't like sit-ups. So yeah, make sure you're running. Make sure you're running and doing your push-ups and going to the gym because you don't want to go in there like you've never ran in your life. Like you know you're joining the military, so there's gonna be PT. Like we did PT every day. We did cardio um every other day and strength every other day. Um and it's a lot of them is body weight, so and um, endurance training, um, a hit, like hit workouts, interval training. So make sure you're running because if you don't pass the PT, then you might get kicked out. So just just do the best you can, okay? Um, I'm not saying like you need to be like pat, you need to have a passing score before you get in, but at least get started so that you're kind of conditioning your body before you get into the boot camp, right? So what I did is I just ran um, almost every day. I timed myself. Just kind of, I just kept running. I just kept my stamina up because once you have that stamina, then that's gonna help you um, keep going for the PT. We usually did like 30 minutes of running. 
Um, and then for strength, then we did the push-ups and we did the sit-ups. Um, so every other day will be different. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and age-wise. You have to be, I think, 39 and below to be enlisted. I'm not very sure for the officers. Um, so if you're approaching that 39 mark and you want to join, just join. It's something that no one can ever take away from you once you're done with boot camp. It's such a great feeling. Before you go to boot camp, make sure you have your finances done. So you won't see your phone for like a month and a half. The big thing for me is I made sure that I set up automatic payments for my, my bills. If you want to live independently, you want to leave your hometown, you might want to join the Air Force. Um, I personally wanted to leave um, because I wanted to live independently. I wanted to get to know myself a little bit more and I did. I really did. I'm surviving. <laughs> and just be prepared. It's, it's not going to be easy. Um, it does have its tough times. But to be honest, if I've done it and a lot of people have done it, then you can do it too. So yeah, that's how I joined the Air Force. Um, again, just list down and research everything you can. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. Um, I can make more detailed videos on some of the points that I've talked about for sure. Um, we can actually even make this a series, we'll see. Um, and yeah thank you for watching thank you for um, staying till the end of the video i really really appreciate it and i will talk to you guys later bye, -bye.